Hey, hey what's up, y'all? It's Carly Five O back with this shit. So we're here to talk about the big dilemma right now, the big hype. We're here to talk about the Holly High Ram. Everybody's creating a big thing. You know, is it better than the CJ? How's the drivability? It heat soaks. All cap. Tricky Performance has tested all the numbers on it, or some of them, and a few other people. Dub Performance, you can check on the numbers. Even there's a 60 to 130 I can post later on for y'all to see. But as you guys can see, you can come take a look. For my 11 to 14 guys, this is what you're gonna need to give you guys a rundown. This is like, there's two different pieces you guys put up on here, which is pretty hot. You get billet fuel rails. You're gonna wanna make sure those are plugged. You're gonna need uh, some extra fittings for the fuel rails from Juggernaut Performance some vacuum hoses and all these lines you're gonna need to get from AutoZone or Riley's, which is the same thing I was doing. And then the 69 millimeter throttle body, the harness that goes with it to make sure you're able to run that right, you know, make sure you have all that to connect to your stock throttle body connector. And then especially the colder intake, you can go with the PMAS. I went with the JLT, my tuner specific likes that one. You gotta go with what your tuner, go, what your tuner likes and goes off of. I'm full bolt on Z85. But anyways, um, we're going to get some drivability videos for y'all, some pull videos for y'all in the video. But I'm going to make sure to get other content. Let me know what you guys want to see. I can do a 60 to 130 draggy. This bad boy. This thing, I mean, it does heat soak a little bit, but it's not that bad from what I've seen. My colder intake temperature is like up and down, so I haven't really been able to test it. But overall, I haven't had too many issues. Like I said, the only thing you guys are going to need is that harness, you know, your colder intake and obviously the throttle body. I would recommend myself going with the 69 millimeter VMP throttle body. But as you guys know, that is more power from what I've heard. They have the, the other ones instead of up and having the two openings like that. They have the wide open one, but it's only good for wide open. Your drivability is going to be complete horrible. Keep the bad language other than that that's the only issue you're gonna have um you want to make sure all this is all sealed off because this thing is not fun trying to put on with the fuel rails and everything these uh the bolts that go into the head are the studs just to get help you guys a little bit and then when it comes to the fuel neck uh or the water neck you guys are going to want to put like a degree angle on it i just took the nipple completely off and put the hose to it which was my easier way. And then another thing, your guys' coolant reservoir is not gonna fit. So I'm gonna get y'all going on to the driving videos and make sure you guys like that one. Here's some extra clips for y'all so you guys can see, you know, what a good look of what it looks like. All right, y'all. So Thank you for watching guys. Make sure to comment, subscribe if you guys like the content. And if you guys wanna see more videos of Ruby, which is her name, my Instagram name is Coyote50. But anyways, if you guys have any questions with an installation, I know I had problems when it came to me installing. You know, it's not fun. You know, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not physically inclined for most of these things. Like I help, so don't feel bad. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to leave the link below or the links below from where I bought all my things at, including the manifold. And um, if you guys have any questions with installation, feel free to DM me or comment under the video. I will respond as quick as I can. My email I can leave in the description too, just in case if you guys have multiple ways to contact me. Anyways, appreciate y'all. Make sure